Hi guys, how about the introduction? Is this interesting? Uh, in order to create this effect, it is very easy. So, but, but you need two things. Uh, first one uh, is the screenshot. You need to take a screenshot of the map that you want to anim uh, to create animation effect. And the second thing, you need a software called Active Presenter. So what is Active Presenter? It is an only one screen recorder, video editor, and e-learning authoring software. So I've been using Active Presenter for years to create my e-learning courses. And I believe that it is uh, way, way better than other video editor, normal video editor uh, for creating online training video and uh, tutorial or educational video, especially for e-learning. And uh, so if you want to uh, create this special effect, you need to use the right tools, educational software, not just a video editor like Filmora or other, maybe Movavi or maybe a Pro or st stuff like that. Okay. So first thing, you need to get the software. Uh, well, uh, let me show you quickly how to, to get this software because uh, it is free to download and try all the features of the program in this free version. And you can create this effect completely free, okay? Uh, so this is a website, atomysystem.com. So you can uh, check it out on Google or you can uh, go to the link I put in the description uh, to access to this homepage. And they have only two two products. Active Presenter is the first one. So to download Active Presenter, you need to click here, download, and then you go to, to here, Active Presenter. All right, so here's at the download page, you have the left side and the right side. On the left side, you have the Windows version, and on the left side, you have the Mac OS version. Uh, on top here is the Active Pre uh, Presenter uh, number 8, the latest version of this software. You can simply click, click this button to download, okay, and here the same. And maybe you want to read the, the, the their special notes here. There is only one setup package uh, which will serve as both free and paid edition. So they have paid edition also. Uh, with free version, you can create video tutorials, export to other format. We have a watermark. So remember, you can only export to video format, MP4, AVI, MKV, or stuff like that uh, in free version. Okay. So if you want to purchase the software, I will, I will also leave a discount coupon code for you at the description too. Okay, so let's go ahead to click here to download. It's just a small package and the installation takes about one or two minutes. Okay, so here is the download package and all you need to do is to double click on this uh, on this file to install it on your computer. I already installed Active Presenter on my computer, so I don't need to do it again. By the way, it takes about one or two minutes to install the software. Okay, and click yes and yes and yes and yes, and that finished. So I'm going to click no. Okay, so the, here's the Active Presenter, and this is the example project uh, started from the beginning. So here I have some zoom in and uh, zoom and pan animation, and uh, down here, uh, I have a background music and this is my voiceover and all these things are the shape and uh, map and uh, text I put in, in the software, okay? So let's start from the beginning so you know how to, to do it, okay? So I'm going to go to, uh, go back to the start page and because when you open Active Presenter, it will look like this. So the first thing you uh, need to create a blank project. Uh, you can select here or you, maybe you can select other template if you want, okay? So I'm going to select a blank project. And the second thing, I want to delete this title and this text. So it is on the timeline here. So I'm going to delete that, uh, okay? And also make this about uh, 20 seconds or stuff like that. So I'm going to make the slide 20 seconds. So this is a slide and this is a preview window where you can put your image or video or stuff like that here for editing. And down here is a timeline and here we have some button here. Uh, on, on this side we have the property. So if you want to learn more about Active Presenter, I will put my tutorial for beginner over here or here. Alright, so the next thing you need to check the size of your video. 
okay to do that you go to design and here you can have the slide side it is the side of your video we can select on that and then we need to select uh, this option 1080p otherwise it will be like this uh, 720p or stuff like that so you can select 1080p and then you can click ok you can you can change the background style to different color also for example if i i can change it to black or stuff like that it's okay so the next thing you need a map in order to take a screenshot uh, according to my previous tutorial i i told you that i use nugget to take a screenshot by the way you can use active presenter to take a screenshot also uh, but you can use nugget because yeah um, maybe it is a little bit more powerful than than active presenter when it comes to taking screenshot and i will put the link to to try snagit at the description also okay so now we need to bring our map here i'm go back to my desktop and it, this is a map that i'm going to use and sorry for my messy uh, desktop i'm going to drag and drop it into active presenter and i'm going to drag and drop it over here uh, so it is out of the the canvas area all we need to do is to move this one to this corner okay because the size the size of the image and the size of the project is different so we need to scale up a little bit here okay so now we are going to get rid of this part on the timeline in the project we only have this part here all right so the next thing to highlight to create the highlight effect now i'm going to select uh, this one uh, on the timeline uh, for example here i want to uh, highlight my country it is vietnam so i'm living in vietnam so i'm going to highlight this one all i need to do to press and hold my control key and scroll my mouse to make the map bigger here i just zoom in the canvas so i can see my country better and the next thing go here to the insert tab and then click the shape and in active presenter it uh, lets you add different shape to your uh, to your video for making tutorial for but for this purpose we're going to use this one freeform shape and select that and now we can highlight or just draw a map draw a map around my country so i'm going to start from here and believe me it is a time consuming process especially for those of you who want to highlight many country on the map okay so do like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i'm going to do it quickly because i just want to show you because uh, the more time you spend on drawing then the more now uh, the the more beautiful your your map is okay and this one so i'm going to finish this one very soon uh, okay so this is vietnam and my country a very small country in asia pacific okay so uh, i'm done by the way maybe i need to fix this one by the way it's okay so this is a shape that uh, i overlay on the on the map now i need to change it to different color uh, on the at here at the property panel we can still uh, select uh, select the subject here and now the first thing we want to rename it uh, and we are going to uh, click on this button uh, this is the interactive button and we can rename it to my country vietnam so it will show on the timeline uh, it just it is just easier for me to control the the object uh, now go back to the fill and i want to change it to red okay so this is a red color and uh, by the way we have some more option down here such as the outline or uh outline while with uh, or mm, different type different type in active presenter different property you can customize by the way for me i think this one is okay and the next thing i want to uh to control control where the map show on the timeline so i'm going to use this uh to move this box on the timeline uh to decide where where, where it show on the map and at this position so we don't have the 
uh, we don't don't have the uh, the highlight effect and at this position i want the highlight effect to start but it, it depends on my voiceover okay uh, but i want to create a, an animation effect for that ancient i mean ancient animation so i'm going to select it and then go to the animation again and here uh, not again sorry just go to the animation and now i'm going to select the ancient effects so i'm going to select fade in by the way you can select other other different uh, other animation effect uh, we can select fade in and we can adjust the speed of the animation by drag this uh, green line uh, all the way to the right okay so uh, we have just created the map animation effect let's review the uh, the timeline now Hmm. Okay, and that is my country, and I want to extend uh, the duration of this uh, or this highlight effect to the end of the slide. Okay, so now I'm going to add the text uh, bubble here to show it is my country. Okay, to do that, I will go back to the insert tab again and go to shape again, and now we have uh, many different bubble here. By the way, I'm going to click this button, uh, this color button, and now I'm going to draw uh, an area on the screen and going to put it right here. And I say, and double click uh, at the box to type, okay, my country. Hmm, I think it's fine. By the way, I can customize the uh, that text color and forms and size and stuff like that but I'm not going to do that and we can also adjust uh, the duration and animation here okay duration to the end of the slide and the end uh, for the animation I'm going to select it and then select engines um, fly in or uh, pick in okay pick in uh, may be good for me and I'm going to play it okay and another thing if you want to highlight uh, highlight other parts here on the screen you just do the same for example uh, i can quickly uh, quickly highlight this area on the screen okay this mongolia uh, i'm just going to the insert tab again and go to shape and then uh, freeform shape and then I'm draw a map here around this area and mm, 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 mm. sorry i just draw a fast shape here so it is uh, it will not look fine okay and now at this time i can change the color to yellow so and i want to overlay a text here uh, it is also easy we can go to insert tab again and select text caption we can select here and then draw an area here now we can type Mongolia okay and I'm going to change it color to red so you can see better and change the size to 60 for example oh too big I'm sorry 40 okay 40 is okay now that's easy right so that is how you can create a country highlight effect in active presenter and you can select both of them on the timeline and select the animation for both subject on the timeline go to animation and we are going to select fade in and now it's done here mm. Mm. okay and if you want to create a zoom in effect to this one uh, to this area i can do it uh, easily for example at this position i want to uh, to zoom in to this part uh, so that uh, when the the map appear uh, there's a zoom in effect for my image uh, to do that we go to the insert again and uh, click this button zoom and pan and now we have a zoom and pan box here and we can adjust this box to this area okay and we can adjust the speed of the zoom and pan effect here okay and here's a final result Ooh, Mongolia 
it's that easy right uh, by the way you can record voiceover and add some text or do other stuff and highlight different country but technically uh, that is how you can create country highlight effect in active presenter and the last thing you want to do is to export the project into video right uh, you go here at the export tab and then you can select video export to video so you need to check all the option here and also the video quality you can reduce it to 70 or 80 it's up to you just keep the highest quality but the, uh, si the video size smaller okay and the name here we can make it sample one dot mp4 now go, i'm going to click ok to export the video and show you the result okay and the video format i'm going to export is mp4 let's click ok and wait for it okay so this is the final result that i have just created in active presenter let's click yes to view the uh, the output and there you go we have sample one let's play it my country Mongolia that's interesting right by the way, Active Presenter is an educational software, so you can do more, so many things more with uh, this shape and, and text and stuff like that. You can even add act interactive uh, action to, to this shape and question and stuff like that. So be sure to check out Active Presenter at the link I put in the description. Uh, that is enough for today's tutorial. If you have any question, let me know at the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more video like this. Bye bye.